Taking a break. That's one thing I never want to do. And the thing that sucks is like, when things come at your life, you feel like you need to take a break. But I think once you realize that if you actually push through this, that greater is gonna come out of it. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I was not feeling good whatsoever yesterday, which was July the 5th. And I started feeling really bad on July 4th. <clears throat> and it was weird. Like I never get sick, guys. And I believe the reason I don't get sick is because I believe we're supposed to walk in divine health. That's how I think life should be. And that's how God wants our life to be. Because God himself told us above all else. That's like above everything that he's told us. He wants us to walk in divine health. And he also wants us to prosper. And guys, it is not hard when symptoms come into your life to where it seems like you're getting sick. And one thing that I'll never say is if I'm feeling symptoms, say my throat hurts or I got like a headache or anything like that, I never, never, ever, when it comes to that point, I never want to say, oh, I'm sick or, oh, I don't feel good. Even if I'm feeling bad and people ask me, are you okay? Like, are you feeling okay? And then I just tell them, I feel better. I always say that I feel better. And then when you and when you speak these things, when you say you feel better, you, when you say you're healed, because yesterday and on the 4th, I just kept saying I'm healed, I feel better. And thank God today, I really do feel better just from my confession. You know, when you confess these things in your life, you will feel better. Yesterday, I didn't film whatsoever. I said, today I'm taking the day off. And I did state that on the 4th video. And I just wanted to make this video as an explanation of why I took that break. And it was just because I didn't feel good whatsoever. I had all these symptoms in me. <clears throat> I had like a gnarly headache. My throat was like literally killing me and it's just bad you know it's one of those things that the devil tries to get me you know and the devil comes to steal kill and destroy and he's really trying to steal my joy really steal my happiness because look at it like my mom's in town um, my friend Omar is here from liberal Kansas um, I got a beautiful girlfriend and it was the 4th of July I was around a holiday and the devil always tries to sneak in and do something stupid around the time of times that should be great that should be remembered as something that was awesome and that was fun which the 4th of July was really awesome it was most likely the best 4th of July I've ever had but it would have been 100% better if my dad was here but I'm sure he had a great fourth as well I talked to him on the fourth uh, I called him see what he's doing it seemed like he had a his day planned out and it looked like it was a fun day but you know I should be enjoying my time my mom's here and like all my friends are here my brother's here everyone's happy everyone's healthy and one thing I always have to keep in my mind is that I have divine health um, there's no need for me to actually be healed because I was actually healed over 2,000 years ago because in the Bible it says that by his stripes we were healed so when he was beaten when Jesus was beaten we were healed at that point and it's still effective today. And a lot of Christians got it mixed up. They think that they get sick and then they have to be like rehealed. Like Jesus' work wasn't good enough for them, you know? And we have to understand that we are healed. So when you have symptoms of being sick or you feel like you're sick or you feel like you're down, you feel like crap, you have to keep confessing of your life, I'm healed. Because when you're healed, when you feel good, on those days where you're like, oh man, I feel great, I wanna go outside, I wanna go do things, you feel good, you feel healed. What's the difference between those days and the days that you have symptoms of sickness? Like, nothing should change your confession on the days of you feeling good you're healed on the days of you feeling bad you're still healed and once you understand that and you live out through your spirit man and not through your flesh like you'll understand the whole thing because your flesh this right here my mortal body can get sick but my spirit will never get sick and just by saying that since it's in the spirit it should manifest in my life already like if i'm healed in the spirit i should be healed in the natural so you got to keep that in mind like god wants us to be healed he wants us to be free from all sickness free from our sins which sin do bring sickness which sin brings death and like the process to death is sickness and yeah you just gotta like really keep your head up it's hard to keep your head up and keep faith um, while you're in those times of being sick. It would have totally been different if I was just calling into my job like, hey, I'm not gonna be able to make it today because I don't feel good rather than me having my own business. Now I understand how my dad feels because my dad owns his own business, same as me. And I feel like me and Chandler are kind of following after my dad's footsteps and we're trying to figure out how to do this whole business thing on our own. And the thing is, is when the devil tries to attack you in your health, man, it's it sucks because you lose sight of like, dang, what am I supposed to do for my videos? What am I supposed to do for my business? Am I even going to be able to get work done? Which yesterday I took the whole day off and I didn't do any work whatsoever, which was well needed. I feel way better today. Candace was always there. Like she really helped me out a lot yesterday. I'm not going to lie. But yesterday was just full of pretty much prayer. I don't know, love. I feel like love and happiness, uh, joy really helps you realize that you are healed. But it's not easy, man. It's not easy. But the whole thing is, is this whole life thing. Uh, it's never going to be easy. It's never really easy and if it is easy you're doing something wrong because you're probably just sitting back relaxing doing nothing and not really progressing or moving forward but besides the whole talk um me taking a break will i ever take a break from youtube and it's one of those things it's like 
this is my business this is what I'm doing and I take this very serious I don't take it lightly I don't take it lightly that I'm a video maker a filmmaker um, on a social media app or if I'm like a public figure in the social media and uh, world I don't take that very lightly I take everything very serious if you take your job serious it will grow um, if you take your business serious it will grow and I feel like a lot of us don't take the things that they do serious the things that they love serious and if you actually take what you love serious it will flourish and you'll actually see the fruit of your work because there's nothing better than making money on your own without going through someone who is your boss or going through like a franchise, like working for fast food or working for a business, but owning your own business and seeing it prosper. And one thing that I've learned is that if I put my faith into what I love to do, like I love filmmaking, and when I touch it, when I'm holding my camera, when I'm making videos, when I'm editing videos, is when I'm doing that, God is prospering it. Because God said, everything I touch will prosper. So I believe that everything I do should prosper. And if it's not, then I must be doing something wrong. So that's another thing too, is like, if you're feeling like symptoms, or if you're doing something wrong, or something's not really working right, or it seems like something's off, um, you really have to evaluate yourself. And the Bible tells you to judge yourselves. And that's why it's very important for us not to judge other people. Because first we have to judge ourselves, let's be honest. And what I mean by judging ourselves is like, evaluate your life and really see what's going on like in the natural and the spiritual. Just evaluate your life. If you really evaluate your life, you'll see how things are working and see what can be fixed. No matter what it is, whether it be spiritual things, whether it be business, evaluate what you're doing. Now let me stop myself and go ahead and tell you guys, yes, this whole video is gonna be me sitting right here explaining to you one simple thing. I'm shooting this video the morning that it's going up. And the reason this video is like this is because I didn't have the energy to get stuff done yesterday. And as you can tell, like I'm still, I'm not even gonna say anything, but you guys can tell. I'm still fighting through this. I'm still staying strong and keeping my confession. And I know that I am healed and I walk in divine health. And when you're ever not walking into fine health, it's really time to evaluate yourself and see what you can fix. But you guys, with all that being said, the devil thought he had me. But the thing is, is I'm going to come back even harder, do my best, and keep pushing forward. Because one thing I do know is that the enemy can never stop me. As long as I keep my faith in God and keep pushing forward. And he can't stop you either. You just got to keep your faith in God and keep pushing forward. And one of the greatest things I do know is that we have to submit ourselves to God. The Bible says we submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, and the devil will flee. So step one, submit. Step two, resist. Step three, you have the victory. But you all, please forgive me. Um, energy is coming back, so more energized videos are coming soon. And I'm going to be dropping fire content like usual if not better. I already know the supply is going to be there in order to make these videos. But other than that, guys, stay strong in the faith. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.